how do we vlog in a car? This is a big question that we tried to figure out as we were starting our YouTube channel because we always had the premise of doing road trips and wanted a way to, to vlog in the car. So it took a lot of trial and error, but we finally landed on a solution that involves the GoPro. And in this case, we have the GoPro Hero 8 block and it's in the Ulanzi cage just because we need this mic adapter here to add an external microphone. But you could also use the Media Mod or another version of the Ulanzi cage if you have a older, older version of the GoPro such as the Hero 7 Black. But I'm going to demo how we attach this to the inside of our car. We have the Joby suction cup and this is the locking arm which gives you a little bit more stability if you're moving in the car but there's also another arm that's like the bendy arm that you could also use uh, because this one's a little hard to find these days for some reason but the bendy arm will also do just be a little bit less stable. So this is the phone mount that we sometimes use to hold the phone when we need the navigation but you can also take that part off and loosen it up and you'll see like there's a quarter inch tripod screw here. And the Ulanzi cages are great because they come with a tripod screw at the bottom. So all we need to do is put our GoPro in the Ulanzi cage on the suction cup. Now that we have it, we unfortunately do not have a display mod or a way to check our frames, so we have to put this in wide mode to make sure that we're both going to be in the frame here. 4K 30 and in wide. Hyper smooth boot. We don't really need hyper smooth, but in case we end up moving, we'll leave it on hyper smooth anyway. But usually right about here is good and we'll get us both in there. Okay. And then from now on, we can go over to the GoPro and have that footage. So yes, this is what it sounds like in the car from the audio test perspective. When we are just using the GoPro's mic itself, Mm -hmm. uh, and you can tell there's road noise here and so on, so we can tell you how we deal with that. It took us a bit to find out a good way. Yeah, I'm curious. And we'll also do a little demo with the Rode Wireless Go, which we know works really well. For part two, we have the Rode Wireless Go, and these are really great little microphones. We've reviewed them and used them on our channel several times, and they're great for adding a wireless microphone clipped directly to you if you need more direct sound, which is really key if you're car vlogging and you're in a moving vehicle or just in a really loud location and you want to make sure that your sound is coming in really well. So you power both of them on, you have to make sure that both are charged and they charge via USB-C. If you have two options on the Solanzi cage, you can attach it up top or to the side, right there. And then plug this part into your mic adapter. And then the other thing, and this is only for the Hero 8, but you do want to make sure that you go over to Preferences, Audio Input, and then they added this part, the audio input, so you can check standard mic or powered mic and in this case we do want powered mic because this is a self-powered mic. And then this is the other piece, this is the actual microphone and the Wireless Go has a microphone built in but if you wanted to you could also plug in your separate wired lav mic but in this case we're just gonna stick with the built-in mic and with two people this can be a little tricky because there's two of us and there's only one of this uh, the wireless go does not come with two microphones unfortunately so with two people the best way that we found is for me to kind of clip this to myself and have it pointed in the other direction because Martin is loud enough typically to be picked up by this microphone from far further away so we'll go ahead and test that out and see how it goes Okay, here is that Wireless Go microphone. I'm gonna have it clipped right here to my jacket. Yeah, so it turns out good old GoPro with the wide angle and the road is the best combination in the car. Yep, GoPro, the wide angle, and also the Joby to hold it in place. That's been the best solution. That's true, the Joby was also part of the puzzle because uh, we tried a few, not a few, a lot of mounts, and it was just a tragedy. And <laughs> in fact, turns out Joby makes the best one. And this locking arm itself is the best one. Mm -hmm. So this whole car vlogging episode, and it really has been an episode because it was very difficult to figure out the best way to vlog in the car with stability in mind and also getting your audio right, as well as good picture quality and a wide angle lens. And so our first attempt at doing this, we actually used the phone. And we did that because the phones are now coming with built-in stability as well as multiple lenses, including like a wide angle lens that's able to capture uh, the entirety of the whole car. 
This is our very first vlog. That's right. In our van, our peace van. All right, Susie and Marty from Gemini Connect here, and we are driving away on a mission. We're here for another check-in. We hit our first night in the van. But the nice thing about having the van is that even if you arrive after dark, you don't have to pitch your you don't have to pitch your tent. And we also use the Moment lenses. So Moment has a nice wide angle and a fisheye lens. And that fisheye lens is really great in terms of picture quality. It makes you feel like or look like you're in a living room, but you're sitting in your car. But it wasn't so great in terms of stability. It would be pretty sweet after we watched that BBC documentary. They had a ton of slow motion. Yeah, a lot of nature films, if you look at them now, and we're starting to really just pick up on like how people film and, and piece together videos. Yeah, it shook a lot, and the GoPro is actually so much more stable. The Hyper Smooth is perfect for driving, and the sound was a huge issue as well. And in fact, with the phone is when we had issues with the um, buzzing of the static interference. We're on the edge of the Olympic National Forest, which takes up most of the Olympic Peninsula, and this is the site of the Hood Canal, but the way this park is uh, situated is there's a very big mountain range in the middle and, and it's been serving us quite well inside it's pretty roomy two armrests on each side I mean, the phone has surprisingly good audio in it, and I think because it, it because it's a phone, and phones are meant to you know pick up audio as you're talking to people, so the audio is pretty good for for vlogging, but it's not so great in the car because you have too much external noise, and the GoPro can also suffer from this as well, where it's just picking up like everything in the car plus all of the sound of the car moving, and so targeting your voice is really difficult, which is why we ended up going with the lav um, option because because that's the best way to make sure that your voice is the more prominent sound and you don't get you don't have a lot of noise. So we are car vlogging with the Hero 8 Black and the Media Mod using that Media Mod microphone to pick up our voice and hopefully we both are in the frame. Yeah, we're driving on gravel. It would be an interesting experiment for the hyper smooth. We're also birding, so we're looking around <laughs> trying to find birds. And another um, modification to sound that we did is we also used a separate sound recorder and we thought that was going to work really well but then that also picks up a lot of static noise and it's hit or miss we're not really sure exactly what triggers it but we think you know it's it's your phone and then maybe the radio in your car but even turning all those off occasionally will get a little bit of static and if, if it does happen it just ruins your sound quality. The closest thing I can think of is like eggplant stuff from like hummus. Right. That's what it sounds like to me. Kind of, but this is a different like dip mm -hmm. uh, spread. And you know what happens though once you cross into Eastern Europe and towards Turkey and Persia and so on? So that didn't work either, where we tried to record the sound separately and, and the video separately and then spend more time in posts to sync the two. It was a lot more work and it didn't work consistently. All so right. yeah, we're entering the freeway now and there should be a lot more noise racing semi trucks and pickup trucks now yeah so our ideal would be for both of us to have a lav mic and there might be a way to do that but i haven't yet figured that out uh, what we'd have to do is probably use two powered mics or two um two wired mics i don't know i don't even know if gopro can handle a splitter but from my first test that didn't work out so well the ceremony can handle it yeah, so we do have a wireless Saramonic mic system, which is very similar to the Rode Wireless Go, but it's cheaper. It's like a hundred bucks. The problem though, again, is consistency. Because we don't have the levels on that microphone or also on the GoPro, we can't verify that both mics are connected. And what tends to happen is one mic connects and that second mic might connect for a little bit, but then it disconnects and it happens in the middle of recording. So. Yeah, for consistency's sake, that hasn't been the best. Yeah, so we really need a flip screen and levels to be able to do this correctly. Yeah, or what GoPro could also do is they're now offering a microphone via the media mod that's built into the GoPro, but we all know that that, you know, it's maybe slightly better, but it's not dramatically better in any way, that they really need to work on some sound options. And if they offered some kind of wireless like lav system like this, then this would be great. But obviously that's kind of getting away from the whole action cam thing. Yeah, and you'll have a really hard time competing with Rode's quality. Right. But if they're going to be advertising the GoPro as a vlogging camera, like that's part of vlogging. You have to have good sounds, good consistent sound that you know is going to work all the time. 